So how close are we to this vision of the world? A world of renewable resources, non-toxic materials, ecological abundance, and equity. Many have chronicled the trends in these different areas. Suffice it to say, we have made progress in some ways and lost footing in other ways. What's more important than understanding the specific trends in each area is to understand the system that is getting us the results. Here's one example of a global system, and as you see, you can make a system very complicated. But let's cut through all the noise, looking at what's working, what's not working, the good outcomes and bad outcomes, you can boil them all down to one thing, human action. As to why we have not made the progress we would expect then, something is amiss either, one, in the decision makers themselves, two, the communication channels they use, three, the information that is exchanged, four, the resources that are exchanged, or five, the decision makers' agency for action. In charting those out, here's what I come up with. The seven barriers. One, inertia grips our system. Two, we lack feedback. Three, political donations block feedback. Four, non-responsive bureaucracy blocks feedback. Five, feedback recipients are disempowered. Six, wealth concentration hinders equity. And seven, we devalue diversity.